Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to get right into Capricorn Weekly Love Outlook. Um, if you're new to my channel, the Weekly Love Outlook is a, rela is a relationship outlook. We look into uh, some connection that you have with someone, Capricorn. This could be a lover from the past coming in. This could be a current lover or reconciliation. This could be somebody new coming in or a friendship that's suddenly evolving. Whatever the case may be, we're going to start off with your Spirits of Darkness and Light first. Give me one more shot. And see what kind of spirits are impacting this connection this week. And then we're going to go ahead and pull out your cards for you and your person. All right, guys. So thank you so much for stopping by if you're new. My regulars know how much I love them. Thank you, guys sticking with me and supporting my channel i love you all so capricorn we have spirit of travel spirit of the pentacle spirit of the jester so spirit of the pentacle beautiful energy faith unity wholeness coming in right um the pentacle uh very much represents the unity the material unity the the tangible unity right of uh of a family, of a group, of a of a commitment to each other, right? Oftentimes, uh, the pentacle is much like the sword and the rose in that way, right? A way that we sort of agree to be together, to be whole. Then we have the spirit of travel. So some of you are journeying, you're relocating, you may be moving. And we have spirit of the jester. So some of you are dealing with the prankster. You may be dealing with some trickery this week, right? Some... Hustler action, right? It's quite interesting that that card would show up. Showed up for one of the other readings also this week. So, spirit of the gesture, spirit of travel, okay, coming in for you guys. So, uh, let's get right into it, Capricorn, and see what your relationship is going to be looking like this week with this person. I know more about the spirits as we pull out your reading. Show me what's going on. This is, of course, August 30th to September 7th. Show me. All right. Your person is coming in with Hermit Energy Capricorn. And you're coming in with Three of Cups. They see you as the Three of Swords. You can move this up quite a bit, actually. There you go. They see you as the Three of Swords. And you see them as death. Wow. They desire King of Wands, and you desire a tower moment. And what needs to happen for them is Star Energy. And for you, it's Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck. Wow, we have five of swords, Capricorn. A lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. Um, five of swords is a card of defeat because the fighting has just gotten to such a stage where you just can't bear it anymore. You rather throw your hands up and just say, "Look, enough is enough." Oh, so this is interesting. We have some definitely some. Um, uh, difficult energy here with death and the tower, ace of cups. Let's get right into it, Capricorn. Your person is resonating with hermit. You're resonating with three of cups. So it feels very much like you guys are kind of like your person is coming in after a period of being on their own, very much on their own sort of travel, their own sort of spiritual travel. Um, they've been solitary. They may have been away from you. They may have been away from you, certainly emotionally, certainly physically could be physically there may have been separation here but definitely a, a real sort of um they were in their own space own shell three of cups is for you capricorn so you're coming into the week and remember this is only a weekly snapshot all right so this is not like a long-term read could be it may resonate for you like this but this is just this week's energy for some of you for some of you capricorn for you you're coming in this week with three of cups 
So you're coming into the week like really feeling sort of um, really spirit of the pentacle in a lot of ways because the three is the number for unity and wholeness and loyalty in tarot. Three of Cups is coming together with friends, reaffirming your bonds, reaffirming your loyalty to each other, celebrating your friendships and your loves, celebrating with your tribe. So being really, really sociable is on the offing this week for you, is the energy that you're bringing in, certainly bringing into this week, Capricorn. Now, how do you guys see each other? Well, your person sees you as the Three of Swords, and you see them as death. Uh, by the way, the Hermit is the card for Virgo and Tarot, and the, the Death card is the card for Scorpio, and the Star is the card for Aquarius. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean you're dealing with any of those people, Capricorn, but it's just something to let you know how the Tarot cards are associated with the... Uh, Zodiac energies. Now, Three of Swords. Here we have Three of Swords is how your person sees you, Capricorn. So that's a betrayal. They see you as a source of betrayal. And for you, you're seeing them as death. And so there's a loss there. So, Capricorn, is this someone that you lost? Is this someone that you lost somewhere along the line due to some kind of a betrayal? And remember, Three of Swords isn't always third person. It's betrayal because you've broken a promise, a bond, you've broken trust, you've broken loyalty. That can happen in a lot of different ways, right? Uh, you can, you know, work too much or you can uh, turn out to be a different person than the person you presented yourself to be. There are a lot of different ways that you can betray someone in a relationship. So it doesn't always mean third party. However, in this instance, it feels a little bit third party to me. Uh, but in any case, you see them as death. So there's a loss there. Death is all about loss, uh, losing someone, right? Death is loss, right? Um, the ending, the loss of something. And for them to see you as a source of betrayal, for you to see them as loss, it, it feels quite clear that there's been some kind of challenge here. And it almost feels like here, Capricorn, are you the one who caused it, right? Now, let's go into what you both desire. So this week, you desire, your person desires King of Wands and you desire Tower. They desire some vision, getting on with their life. They desire structure, freedom. More than anything, they're really looking to the future for some freedom and uh, to sort of manifest the goal that they have in their mind. They're really wanting, they really don't care what anybody thinks about them. The King of Wands is like, he is like sort of the greatest master of being, the unique, the individual, the one who goes after his unique individual vision, regardless of what anybody else thinks, and is very successful at it. So your person is desiring that. And I think in this relationship, it could be that they're desiring, um, that for themselves right there's a big change coming tower energy is what you are desiring so you need to shake up you're looking for something to shake things up i'm going to say capricorn this does feel to me very much like a relationship that um has been on the rocks your person has pulled away hermit energy like I said in the beginning, it feels like definitely separation here, but I wasn't necessarily sure if you guys were physically separated yet from each other. But Five of Swords is there. A lot of arguing. I think your person has given up. It feels to me like because of the fact that they've pulled away spiritually, they may not have pulled away, like I said, physically from you yet, but spirit of travel is impacting this relationship. So this week may be the week that they actually begin to move away from you physically or move away from this connection. Unfortunately, this betrayal has somehow, the betrayal has just been too much, right? It's, this is what they see when they see you. And whether or not you agree with this or, you know, you feel like, well, it wasn't really your fault or whatever, this is how the energy is coming across. This is how they feel. And so after a period of reflection and pulling away, spiritually, emotionally, and maybe even now physically, they're kind of ready to move on with their vision. What they really, really desire is that King of Wands. And you're meanwhile really wishing and hoping here with Tower to desire Tower. And this is like you're really wanting a shake up, right? You're wanting this to to suddenly shake up before it's lost. What needs to happen? Well, star and ace of cups. So for your person, they really need to be able to reevaluate their life and, and be re sort of, um, your person desires and needs to, ha needs to sort of re 
uh, attenuate, refocus, reshift, you know, shift everything, reanalyze the way they're living their lives so they, they so that they can be content. This is a real self journey now. And um, it feels to me like this connection Capricorn has kind of led into that, right? Um, it could be that this relationship was already on its way out, right? It was already sort of there was something underlying here because it feels like what needs to happen here for you is the Ace of Cups, right? So for you, a new love needs to spring. It almost to me, it's like as if that's what I mean to say. This really doesn't feel very, I'm sorry about the camera going out of focus this really doesn't feel so much like you guys are really so much each like to blame like you're to blame or they're to blame or anyone's to blame something happened and it kind of brought to the surface the fact that this relationship was already rocky or that something was already wrong so this betrayal in this situation how you guys see each other now it feels like it was bound to happen or it was almost even necessary, right? They're moving on. You're moving. You're coming in. You're, you're having a happy, sociable life, right? They're moving on with their spiritual uh, sort of progress and their desire to move forward. Now, you do want this tire moment to shake up. And that, I think, is kind of the pain of just losing a relationship sometimes. But what needs to happen for you is new love. So they need to recalibrate their focus for their goals and their desires and hopes and dreams for their life, which is what star energy is all about. You know, really paying attention to making sure you're living the life that you desire. And Ace of Cups is very much about new love, new love potential. So it's like something, something painful happened here, but the both of you are kind of, it, it, it turned into something positive, it feels like, in a way that both of you needed to move on from this relationship anyway. See what I'm saying? Um, because again, you're seeing death with them too. And it could be that, you know, there was a death there with you and them. And, and you went ahead and perhaps uh, went on with your life in some way, shape, or form that made them feel, you know, feel as though they were betrayed or what have you. It's all about perceptions. They sense betrayal, you sense a death. In either case, it's almost as if this needed to happen. And this week, all of this is going to be kind of coming to a head, right? Because this is the weekly snapshot. Let me see some clarity for Capricorn for this week. Talking August 30th to September 7th. Show me. The chariot, the world, wow, and the queen of cups. Yeah, this was kind of meant to happen because right now there's a whole new thing coming in for you, Capricorn. Chariot, ace of cups is what needs to happen. A chariot is coming in for you. So you were kind of destined to start a whole new stage in your life. And so this very difficult, although at the time it feels difficult, it feels hard, all breakups are hard, this one was necessary. Chariot energy means you need to lay the foundation for something that's coming in. World card, world card and Queen of Cups is coming in also for you. So the world card is all about really... All of the energy, all of the sort of elements, right? All of the elements working together in sort of a very destined and faded way. You know, it's when fate has its eyes on you and the whole world is working in concert. The universe, the world, everything, all the elements, all the energies in your life are kind of working towards your sort of future right now because you are right on your path. You are right where you need to be, right? The world card talks about being in such harmony with the universe around you because you are so firmly on the path that has kind of been set for you or destined for you, right? You're like perfectly lockstep. So despite the fact this is very difficult time, it was definitely feels like it was a destined time. And I think this is going to come quickly to surface also for you, Capricorn. Queen of Cups is coming in also, and there's definitely Definitely a special love that's coming in with this new Ace of Cups that's much more up your alley. That is much more of what you need, what you desire, what you require. Queen of Cups is a very sensitive, deep opening, uh, deep and open uh, 
feeling, right, and energy. This is like a, someone who has a very special cup of love to give, someone who is very emotionally stable and who wants to go to those depths that you're willing to go to. So again, this feels like a breakup this week, or, you know, I know a breakup sounds harsh, but it feels like this disconnection here is about to divide. Right? You guys are going your separate ways. You're going your separate ways. And yes, it started off difficult with this death, this betrayal. They pulled away first. But this is the week where you guys kind of really complete it, right? You complete the... It's still difficult, but you complete the understanding that this is over. And maybe if you resonate with this, this reading will give you some clarity. The arguing must stop, Five of Swords, and both of you are sick of it. So Five of Swords being the card for defeat is often, oftentimes why, because both, you know, uh, one, and I think in this case, both of you realize that the, the fighting, you know, the constant fighting to maintain that, you both lose, right? So just stop. And so you throw your hands up. You really concede a defeat for the higher good, for a higher win. This is an interesting reading, Capricorn. Some of you are dealing with a very, very um, interesting kind of, you know, difficult breakup, I'm going to say, you know. I feel like this is indeed a breakup, but new love is certainly coming in. So please, again, this feels like very much like something that needed to happen for a much better outcome later. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. This is your weekly love outlook. Sorry for that background noise just at the last moment. It's quite late right now, and there's somebody out there riding their motorcycle, so... Philadelphia in the summertime. But all right, Capricorn, I love you so much. If you enjoyed the reading, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to uh, hit the notification so you know when I'm uploading and premiering my videos. I'll be uploading the September Love Outlook very soon, uh, tomorrow or the next day also. All right, Capricorn, but for right now, have a wonderful week. Stay safe, stay healthy. Most of all, stay kind to each other. Bye-bye now.